Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the ABIT iX38 Quad GT motherboard. What's included is the user's manual, installation disc, I.O. shield plate, four serial ATA cables, IDE ribbon cable, floppy cable, and the motherboard. This motherboard is based on the Intel X38 Express ICH9 R chipset and supports the latest 45 nanometer Intel dual and quad core processors. It accepts up to 8GB of dual channel DDR2-1066-800-667 and 533 MHz unbuffered non-ECC memory. The board comes with 6 fan headers. 4 are located around the socket, one next to the memory and another next to the last PCI slot. Here's the Firewire pinout, audio pinout, USB pinout and front panel pinout. Digital power on self test readout which shows board codes and is especially helpful if there's a problem. Power and reset switches. Six serial ATA 3 gigabit per second connections capable of RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10 as well as an IDE port. This motherboard comes with passive cooling using heat sinks and heat pipes so it's completely silent but excellent case ventilation is recommended to ensure adequate cooling. Here are the six PCI slots. Two are X16 for 16 lane video cards capable of a multiple video card crossfire setup. This one in the middle is for a PCI Express 2 X16 slot. One is for a single lane card and there are two standard PCI slots. This board also uses solid state capacitors and has a five phase digital pulse with modulation. This improves performance, increases stability and reduces power consumption. There are two main motherboard power connectors, the 2024 pin and the 4 8 pin. While 20 and 4 pin power supply leads can be used to power this motherboard, 24 pin and 8 pin leads are strongly recommended to ensure Board stability. The rear I.O. panel on this motherboard includes a 1 gigabit LAN connection, 4 USB 2 ports, a firewire socket, 7.1 channel high definition audio, 2 external serial ATA ports, an optical fiber audio in and out, an external CMOS clearing switch and the PS2 ports. The BIOS has a number of features that allow changes to the chipset, peripherals, power and more, but I'm going to be focusing on the Uguru overclocking area. This area is of most interest because it allows changes to the external clock, multiplier, memory speed and much more. It also enables voltage changes to the CPU, memory, north bridge and south bridge. All this means that you'll be able to get more out of your CPU and memory for a maximum overclock. Most of the new brand name motherboards that incorporate the Intel X38 Express chipset are really good performers, have excellent stability and are highly overclockable. This motherboard is no different. But remember that this board does not support DDR3 which is the new memory standard. It supports DDR2. But overall this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.